Fashionably late. I thought you weren't gonna show. I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my word. Easy there. I was just teasing. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. Are you glad you at least tried to apologize? It's hard to say. I go back and forth most days. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. No matter what, you know you can always count on my sword arm and my friendship. Your aim is atrocious. I'm embarrassed for you. Think you can do better. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. I appreciate the help getting him elsewhere. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you, as lovely as your songs. I'm pleased for both of you. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the Chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mafrath's son, Isarath. Uh-huh. Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Sure you can. They must have that thing almost across the room by now. Right? Ben Hasra, remember. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. I've never heard of a fancy spa serving elves. You are the Inquisitor, darling. Savior of the Empire? They won't turn you away.
What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I know you were cruelly disappointed when Solus left. I'm still not over what happened. We shouldn't dwell on terrible mistakes, should we? It's spa day. You must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas's institutions of magic from flying apart. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Of course not, Inquisitor. I was catching up with Redcliffe's Arl. He's here to represent Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? Blessedly quiet. The mayor conveys his greetings. Redcliffe remembers its savior. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. Many are frightened of the Inquisition's power, but I will do all I can to allay their fears. Is there anything I can do to make your job easier? Explore the grounds. Let yourself be seen. The delegates need to put a face to the legend. I have much to do, but let me say this. I may no longer be your spy master, but I am always here if you require. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. I appreciate knowing where Ferelden stands. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. Orle is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. You arrived ahead of me. I hope all's well. It's everything I expected. We've been spared the burden of surprise. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor. Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well.
thank you, your holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Our goal was to keep more Ferelden citizens from dying, not to seize power. Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates this interference. The Inquisition is the only reason Selene still has the throne. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you in private. The Divine Victoria? Who is sitting just up there? Yes, and who was once your spy master? It's a pressing matter, your worship. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montelier, can you handle this for a short while? I... Of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So, what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Tarvashov, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. We need to find out what's going on. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will extend the recess as long as possible. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. showing me the Alluvians. I'd forgotten all the colors. Everything looks gray and murky to me. I wonder if it somehow looks different to elves. The blood trail leads to this mirror. Let us see where this Kunari came from. Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orle anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. 
He's Karashok, a foot soldier. Must have been in the same squad. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out why these Kunari were here and who did this to them. Over there, Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. What does it want? I'll try, Elven. Andoran Atishan Sadaran. considered us intruders. It must have been set to guard something. <laughs> that was like Veilfire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dreadwolf Fenharel. This doesn't make sense. In Dalish legends, Fenharel is our god of misfortune. 